Hey guys, it's Ike here, and I'm bringing my Sky Striker deck profile for December 2019. So, starting up, we have the standard, the re ray, the re ash, and one Toon Cyber Dragon. The thing about Toon Cyber Dragon, as I'll show you later, we can make Mega Fleet, and we can burn three spells, which is really useful. And then you just target multi roll on either Ray if you have it, or Mega Fleet. Send Mega Fleet to the graveyard, and then activate your other striker spells, and making uh, multi roll can't be negated. So, it's really good. Next, we have for the spells the re engage. And then, that's obviously so standard. It's like probably one of the best, it's the best card in the deck. Two area zero. The reason why I play two is because there's a strategy with another field spell. I'm actually not playing Mystic Mine. Just because there's another field spell that basically allows me to have two Kigari. And it's really useful. So I play two area zero. Uh, two uh, shark cannon. It's just really good. Steal a monster. Probably one of the better cards. Uh, one Hercules base, standard. One Eagle's, Eagle Booster. Just keep recycling that card. Actor Burners is probably one of my favorite spells. Like, of like you, what you play as a one of. Besides, like, Hornet Drones, Jamming Waves. Like, Jamming, jamming Waves and Hornet Drones. And Widow Anchor. It's, like, just insane. Actor Burners, probably one of the best striker cards. Definitely play that. Well, Jamming Waste, play one of those. Definitely play multi -roll. I cannot tell you how good this card is. Like, I just got back from Locals and I'm making this video, and then later in the video I'll explain, like, what you can do with this deck. It's just, this card is absolutely devastating. Next we have Hornet Drones, basically another ray. Then we have Widow Anchor. You can steal anything. Then here's where we get, it gets interesting. Three two table of contents. Basically, even if you go first, it's not that bad. Because <clears throat> think about it this way. You get this card, play it, search your deck for the other one, search your deck for the other one, burn three spells, and now you can activate the second effect of every striker card first turn. And then you also get your Toon Cyber Dragon, which, I guess, you pro you'll probably break it if you go first. But it doesn't really matter because, I mean, with this deck, you're basically playing with 36 cards. Because you burn three tune tables, and then you burn the upstart, which I have in my deck. Basically, you're playing with 36 cards, and one's a brick. Basically, you burn three, and you brick one. Personally, I think that's one of the better trades. And if you're going second, you don't even... uh burn it like you don't break it i mean you burn three and you don't break it because then you can go to mecha fleet and basically take advantage of destroying your opponent's main monster zone i mean extra monster zone so this is really good i'll show you how to use it later in the video to us to mst a lot of people play cosmic except i don't really like it and i'm a kid and it's just really hard to deal life point damage, and especially when it puts me at a lower position, it's just hard to recover with this deck. That's why I would rather play two on this team. It really doesn't matter, personal preference. A lot of people are playing Cosmic because of uh, Orcus, but at my locals, there's only two Orcus players, and you know, I, I never play them. Next, we have two Foolish Burial Goods, standard. Bring out Metalophius Fusion, draw one. Yeah, you know I mean? it's like, this deck, you just burn so many. And then I have a Terraforming to search out the Area Zero and the other fields while that's coming up. Next, we have Cynet. Oh, uh, what's the name again? Cynet Universe. Basically, you activate Cynet Universe, and all wing monsters you control gain 300 attack. That doesn't matter. What really matters is once per turn, you can target one monster in your graveyard and shuffle it into the deck. Boom. Shuffle Kagari back. 
like literally play whatever striker card. You know what? In all honesty, you could play Kagari, bring back Engage or like something. You'll probably even get it Engage, but you can just bring like a striker spell, and then you basically you play Kagari, bring back a striker spell, spell, play Shizuku, and then activate Cyanite Universe, and then literally just put Kagari back into your extra deck. And then at the end of your phase, you get another striker, striker spell. So it's basically plus two spells, and you get to recycle your Kagari. It's the best thing ever. I don't know why people aren't catching up to this. Actually, a person uh, at the car, uh, my locals that runs it, uh, he told me the strategy, and it, it, it was phenomenal. Next, we have one Rota. Obviously, Search Out Ray. Never really used it much, but. It's good. I used it once when I didn't have Ray, and that was really helpful. I actually, no, I had one Ray in my hand, but, I, you know, I kind of break it, but whatever. Next, I have Upstart. That's what I mean by playing with 36 cards. It's absolutely amazing. Now for the traps. I actually run a little bit of traps. I don't have impermanence because I'm a kid, don't have money, and it's expensive. Yu-Gi-Oh is expensive. I already spent, like, 140 on this deck, and I still need Nightmare <laughs> Unicorn. So next, I run three. There can only be one. Slow that slows down the game. I'm thinking about playing Summit Limit, but then it's like uh, I, I don't know. It's personal preference on that, but I've only worked it once, and I used it like four times. Next, I have Lost One. Never break this card. This card is the best. Literally, I negated so much with this card. Honestly. And this deck is better than evenly match. Well, unless you're reversing a combo deck. Like, personally, my side deck, I haven't finished it yet. And I'm only missing Nightmare Unicorn from my extra deck. But basically, I would play Lost Win all the time. And if you, in game two, if you know you're reversing a combo deck, decide Lost Win for evenly match. And boom. It's like one of the best cards. Next, we have two compulsory evacu evacuation device. Fortunately, I face pendulums when I play this deck, so he just pendulums something in the bag. I first pendulums twice. Oh my god, it sucked. Like, literally, I bounced it back to his hand, and he just pendulum summons it, and then he was playing a Demian. So, like, I played all my spells, got out my combos, and then. He had so many counters, my next turn he just negated everything, and then I was screwed and I had nothing on my board, and then he just board wiped me. Yeah, that was unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, now for the extra deck. I play three Shizuku. Standard. Bring. I mean, it's just Shizuku. I, I don't know what else to say. Next, I play three Hayate. It's just really good. I mean,. Some people play too because you can recycle it, but it's personal preference to be honest. Next, I play uh, one Kadari because you have to. I would play three, but <laughs> if it wasn't at one, it brings back your spells. Best thing ever. And then I play Kaina. It's just good. And then probably what's the most interesting, I have Hita. He was really good. Mirror matches and Sally. Oh my god, this thing destroys boards with Sally. Alright, next we have Nightmare Phoenix. Standard. And then this would be Nightmare Unicorn, except I don't have it yet. And yeah, oh well. Next is Ningirsu. Basically, it's just free non-targeting removal and I need a lane 3. So, it's perfect. Also, I have Topology Bomber. It's basically evenly matched by a line card. That's what I'm saying. You might not be able to play. You, you can probably avoid playing evenly matched, but this is a definitely good card to consider. It's just a board wiper. It's good against combo decks, to be honest. Next, we have Boral Sword. All right, it, you, you just destroy boards. There, there, it, I can't, there's nothing really to say right there. And then I play Chimera Tech because you burn three spells with Toon Table of Contents, bring special summon Toon Cyber Dragon, 
Use Team Cyber Dragon your opponent until you monster boom contact fusion. And so forth. And then we have our tip again. Alright, next for my side deck. My side deck's not complete. Personally, I don't really like it that much. Two Pinker Tops. It's basic and it's generic. Two DD Crow against Sally and Orcus. Except we don't really have Orcus players. We have a lot of Sally, but I just faced Pendulum tonight. And oh my god, it was horrible. Two Mind Control. One Fight 3. Two is all I have. Uh, one Silent Graveyard. Good against Sally. And Orcus, I guess. Twin Sisters. Tw tw you get the idea. Twin Twisters to remove background removal. And Wave Motion Cannon to win games. I don't know. I just need to click that one there. But basically, I would definitely consider moving out of the side. Is Wave Motion Cannon. Uh, maybe, and maybe the Pink Tops. But no, I just really want, I really want to add two evenly matched. One more Mind Control and three Summon Limit. So I have more options. But it's fine for now. Now I'm going to show you all a combo. <coughs> Y'all can just end the video here, but if you want to play it, you might want to look at this, alright? So, I'm going to give y'all a starting hand. Engage. Uh. Ray. Okay. Engage, Ray. Uh, give me one second. Uh, where is it? Mm, I guess, no, that would be too good. And this. You know what? You don't even need the extra cards. Literally, you have these three cards. If you have Toon Table Contents, Ray, and Engage, it's game. Watch this. Play Engage. Search. Get Multi-Roll. And it's insane. Play Multi-Roll. You probably have two Psyker spells, so we'll just, we'll just take two. We'll just take Hornet Drones and Jamming. Doesn't really matter. <coughs> Basically, play two table of contents. Search out the other two table of contents. Just send it straight to your graveyard. I don't think your opponent will care. I mean, it's just burn three. And then get and then you get Toon Cyber Dragon. So it's just insane. So you have Toon Cyber Dragon. I wouldn't special summon it yet. First, I would definitely get out the ray. Well, actually, yeah. Special summon it. Contact fusion. Get out uh, your chimera attack. Give me a second. You get out your chimera attack. Place it on the field. Chain. I mean, target with multi roll on mega fleet. Send mega fleet to the grave. Then after you send Mega Fleet to the grave, this card can't be negated. I mean, targeted by card effects, and it's just invincible from there. And then after that, play Ray, activate Ray's effect, send to the graveyard, search for Kigari. I know this is so overpowered. Search for Kigari, play Kigari, search for a spell, <coughs> play Engage, search for Engage. Uh, search, I'd probably search up Widow Anchor, so if you don't have it, <coughs> or Afterburners, really depends, so, pick Widow Anchor up, uh, after you pick Widow Anchor up, you definitely probably want to play it, <coughs> so, I would probably play Hornet Drones, uh, send Hornet Drones to the graveyard, get a token, Give me a second. Summon a token. Place it in the fence position. Uh, activate Widow Anchor. Steal opponent's monster. Now you have three cards. Basically, link three. Actually, I would link Kigari. I don't really know. This is where you can mix it up. Basically, you can link three to Ningusu. You can really do whatever you want from here. It's just do whatever you want. Depending on your hand, you can do a lot more. But play Ningusu, it's just overpowered. Uh, 
Personally, you can play Nagursu and negate boards, or you can take another route. You can have the Kigari on the field, and like I'm just going to reset it, for example. And then basically, you can uh, send Nagari Kigari to the grave, and then bring back Hi uh, Shizuku. <coughs> Or Hayate, whatever one. Personally, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Bring Shizuku, play Shizuku. So you, you play Shizuku. Uh, you end your turn. It's the end phase, and you've activated one, two, two, three striker cards. So you get to set Hornet drones. Engage and Widow Anchor. Personally, I would just set in Hornet Drones and Widow Anchor because, trust me, your opponent will vanish your engage, and you don't want that happening. Just bring it back for another time once you get all of his negates out, because it, it, it gets it gets pesky. Trust me. <clears throat> then uh, you have your extra token. Link it. Link to with Shizuku. <coughs> and then you play Heat Up if it's a mirror match. But that's basically it. Like, the further I got along with it, I started to get a little bit more confused. Because you can do so much. In Sky Strikers, depending on what your opponent has, you can even do a lot more. So, I probably could have gotten Boral Sword out, depending on what my opponent had. It just really all depends. But. Trust me, it, it's insane. And if you had Ray with multi roll, oh, uh, like where's a Ray for example? <clears throat> See Ray? Let me move this. Chain, play multi roll, have Ray on the field. So you have multi roll and then you have Ray. Target multi roll's effect, destroy Ray, chain, bring back Ray, activate effect. So basically, you're just training, trading Ray and bringing her right back absolutely free. So basically, this is indestructible, and then you have Ray. So you basically just move Ray to the graveyard back to the field, and now this is indestructible. It's just insane. But for all, that's it. That's my Sky Striker deck profile for 2018. I hope you enjoyed, and that's all.